Hello, my name is Philip. I work in entomology in the Manchester Museum. I'm here today to talk about um, various aspects of insect life, really, and I'd actually like to start by showing you this. This is a cockroach. But it's interesting, it's a fossil cockroach. It's about 350 million years old. And the point of showing you this specimen is to explain to you that the body shape of this insect hasn't changed in 350 million years. It's quite a remarkable specimen. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about insect adaptations and uh, mimicry. The first thing I'd like to show you is this butterfly. This is a very famous butterfly called the Indian leaf butterfly. This is a remarkable example of insect camouflage. This is a specimen with its wings folded and it looks just like a leaf. Of course, when the insect is flying about, it reveals the beautiful yellow and blue and brown of its wings. These are one of my favourites. These are stick caterpillars. They're called twig caterpillars, and you can probably see why. They look very, very, very similar to twigs. The next one I'd like to show you is a stick insect. If you can imagine this insect resting on a twig, with its four legs held completely forward, and its rear and middle legs held backwards. It's a fantastic twig mimic, and it's a great way of protecting themselves from predation. In this box, we've got a really fantastic example of mimicry. On the right-hand side, we have two wasps, a common wasp and a tree wasp. And on the left-hand side, we have some hoverflies. Hoverflies mimic wasps. Wasps have a sting, hoverflies don't. These are pentatomids. They're shield bugs. Um, they're quite small. Um, both these species are very, very common in, um, in, in, in the UK and very common in the Manchester area. Um, they're interesting because shield bugs look after their offspring. The female shield bug cares for her eggs and also cares for her, her nymphs when they hatch out. They use chemicals as, def as defence. They have a gland in the rear of the body which releases a very strong pungent odour which is a deterrent against predators. 